So you might have noticed that so far, um, we've only discussed the derivatives of two out of the six trig functions, right? Uh, we know the derivative of sine. We know the derivative of cosine. We haven't looked at any of the other ones. Uh, the reason for that is that all the other ones can be expressed in terms of ratios of sine and cosine, right? And ratios are quotients, right? So the easiest way to deal with derivatives of those ratios is using the quotient rule. So let's see how we compute the derivative of tangent. So the first thing we notice is that f of x can be written as sine x over cos x, right? That's the definition of tangent. Well, now we're ready to compute f prime of x. f prime of x is going to be, according to the quotient rule, um, the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. And the whole thing goes over the bottom squared. All right, so let's carry out those derivatives. The derivative of sine is cosine, so we have cos x times cos x minus sine x times minus sine x, all divided by cos squared x. All right. Now, I know that in, in most cases, I've said that once you've done the derivatives, you can stop. And fair enough. Uh, this is one answer for f prime. But in this case, I think you'll be a little bit disappointed if you stop here without simplifying a little bit further. Um, because what do we have? Cos x times cos x. Well, that is cos squared x. Minus sine x times minus sine x is sine squared x with a plus, right? Minus times minus gives me plus. Cos squared x plus sine squared x, we know that's equal to 1. So what do we get? We get 1 over cos squared x. It's a little bit nicer of a result, right? In fact, we can, we can go one step further. We could say, oh, 1 over cos is, is secant. So we could write this as secant squared x. And generally, when you look up the derivative of the tangent function, that's the answer you're going to find. The derivative of tan x is secant squared, which is, is a fairly nice result, right? It's certainly a lot nicer than the mess that you have here. Um, of course, the other thing you might notice is um, you could have also divided term by term. Cos squared over cos squared gives you 1. Sine squared over cos squared gives you uh, tan squared. So we could also have written this as 1 plus tan squared. But of course, that's, that's an identity that we know, right? We know that secant squared is equal to 1 plus uh, tan squared. That's just a variation on the sine squared plus cos squared identity. Um, so most of the time, if you're asked for the derivative of tan, you know the answer is going to be secant squared. Okay? Um, similarly, and it's a good exercise for you to try to do these, you can also show that the derivative of the cotangent function is minus cosecant squared x. You can also show that the derivative of secant is secant x times tan x, and that the derivative of cosecant x is minus cosecant x times cotan x. Okay. All of those are done similar to what we did here. And I do them for you, but it's a good exercise for you to try them yourself. Um, once you've gone through and done all those using the quotient rule, 
you're going to have the derivatives now for all six of the trigonometric functions.